Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Not long ago, one of my subscribers, Fred, sent me a picture of a modified base that you can make for your trim router that you can make these really cool designs on cabinet doors. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. Well, like many things in woodworking, there's many different ways of doing things. Um, and the, the modified base is one way of doing it. In the past, I used like a round, I've just picked a couple of things here just to give you an idea, sort of round uh, corner pieces. And you can do the same thing with, a, of course, with a round, uh, round base and you can go up and then do the whole thing like that. So you get the idea what you can do by just being a little bit innovative. But today we're going to make a different base that's going to do this whole thing in one piece. So the first thing I need to do is start off with a piece of plastic. I've taken the base off my router to use as a template and I need to center it. Uh, but what I'm going to do, first of all, I want to make sure that it doesn't move around on me. So I'm going to use some double-sided tape here and just tape it down to that piece of plastic so it doesn't move around on me. Now I'm just going to take a moment and drill those countersink holes. Okay, now I can drill the through holes. There, those screws went in there very nicely. The next thing I want to do is find where the center of this jig is going to be. So in the center of this glass, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this bit, and you can see what that looks like. It's a very tiny, I think it's a sixteenth of an inch. So I need to mount that in there, and then I'm going to drive that bit up into the plastic. So I've mounted that bit in there, and you can see that it's just barely below the base. So what I'm going to do is plug this in and then just raise that bit ever so slightly so that it just touches the inside of that plate. Now I took a moment off camera to make this uh, rudimentary compass and from the center point to the pen. I'm going to use a felt pen here uh, and it fits in there, a friction fit as well. So center to center is four inches because I know that I want to make a, in this case, I want to make a eight inch diameter um, circle. And I've just made a little tiny hole in there, a little, um, just a recess. And now I should be able to mark, accurately mark, my whole circle here. Uh, I ran out a little bit of plastic there, but that's okay. We can get, we can work around that. That'll work. That's okay. Okay, I've just done some marks on there uh, to make sure that I've got their angles right here. So, first of all, this is set at 120 degrees because I need to make, as you can see, three points here. What I need to do now, I'm just drawing a line, and this is just a reference line, so that we'll see what that looks like. I'm going point to point here. Okay. Now, what I need to do now that you can see that, that's what the triangle is going to look like. So there's what, where the center, where the bit will go. Now, what I need to do, I'm going to etch that line. I'm going to uh, make a, a etched line. Uh, so that I, it doesn't disappear and then I'll, I'll coat it so that I can always see that line. I'll cut this off on the bandsaw and then I'm going to take it to my sander and just fine tune that line so that I'm exactly right to those lines.
And now I have a little bit of sanding to do to get these edges exactly even. I'm finding there's also nothing like a little bit of hand sanding to make it just perfect. Well, I finished all my sanding uh, and I've installed a quarter inch round carbide bit. So I'm going to do a couple of cuts here. I'm going to do one on this side, uh, then I'm going to turn it around and do another different kind of cut on this side, just to show you uh, what kind of things this uh, can do with a little bit of innovation here. I just need to put my bit a little bit deeper there. There we go. So there's one cut that you can make, and you can see how easy that is, and that stands out nicely. Now I'm going to change bits and do another cut. Watch this one. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. out. See what you can do? Isn't that cool? I love that uh, double parallel. It's just a nice, nice, elegant design in there. Well, that concludes our video today. Uh, a really cool modified base for a trim router uh, and just another way of getting even more use out of your trim router. And as I said at the beginning, there's all sorts of different ways that you can make the same kind of cut. This is just one way of doing that. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.